Hey, everyone. Happy to have you here for another episode of Legacy Matters. Today, as usual, we will talk about whatever comes up with a slight leaning toward discussions of preserving your legacy, preparing for things to come, and sharing stories we find amusing. We do have to, uh, we have to do an intro at some point so that Paul okay. can cut that out of this and, or one of us can, you know, whatever. Okay. Um, you could do that on your own too. The intro? The intro? You mean like a little music? Well, no, like a, like a welcome to, to which we haven't named oh, it yet. Welcome oh, welcome to Andalyn. God, no. No, I, we did name it. Shoot. We didn't well, write it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we it, it's on the old ones then, right? No, we didn't. We, we, came <laughs> really? day and we came up with it, and then I don't know if I wrote it down. Like, what would be the uh, name? What happened to that sheet of paper we had with all of the uh, potential things? Did we maybe write it on there? I don't even remember what what your t- potential what we, things. I was sitting here, you were sitting there, yeah, <laughs> and we came up with a name. <laughs> It wasn't like straight for talk, the but it was like... For the podcast? Yeah, for the yeah. podcast. God, that's right. I, I, I remember Now it. I kind of remember it. See, I think I might have Alzheimer's the beginning of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, just, oh I just can't remember anything. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I think... <laughs> I, I, we, had, we came up with it. We're like, huh, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I do. Um, I do remember that. Uh, I'd like I do to, remember I'd it like too. To yeah. get into Jim's Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? what makes him such a great artist. I um, know. Uh-huh. What, uh, what What makes you think that you have early <laughs> early onset Alzheimer's here? Well, I just can't point? remember anything. But yeah. I've never been able to, to actually. Right, so maybe remember. you've had it all your life. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. You know, when I was in high school, you know, <laughs> you, you have your padlock, right? Yeah, I'd go through like half the year, and all of a sudden one day I'd be like, "God, what the hell's my combination?" And I couldn't remember it. I've had that happen to me too. Yeah, is that a normal thing? I don't know that it's normal, but I think it's 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 the sign of a very creative mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea. No. So this is actually, I'll tell you. So I couldn't. There were times <laughs> I would come up to my lock, right, and I'd be like, "What is my combination?" I could not remember it, and I would just kind of walk down the hall and walk up to it and try to be thinking about something else and then I just do it bam 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 right. there it is yep but I couldn't actually remember to write it down that's uh that sort of describes every interaction I've ever had with any family member or, I you were or friends say with me yeah <laughs> <laughs> or any or any friend that I haven't seen forever like when I see them, the anxiety of walking up to them and saying their name, like when I oh first see them across the room, yeah, I'll remember their name. And then as I'm walking over there, there's some sort of weird like second Holy guessing shit. that's going on yes, in my mind. Yes. And by the time I get over there, I'm like, I, hi. <laughs> I d- hi, guy. Get, that happens you doing, to me all the time. Yeah. yeah Does mean, that happen to you, Sarah? Mm, yes. Does yeah, it? Yes. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I think most people have that. Oh. Unless you're an astute mm. politician. God, I mean, there are I some people know. who are some, like some people are pretty snappy with the names. I'm I'm in a bowling league on Monday nights, and people I haven't seen for six months, they're like, "Hey, how's it going, Sam?" And then not only do they say my name, but they're like, "So, uh, are you still kids? doing that thing? Yeah. How's your daughter, Andalyn, or your son?" You know, I'm like, what "Right." In the hell? How do you remember all of this information? I so don't. So then, get how it. do you get the name out of them without it being awkward? Me, I just don't use names. <laughs> I just say, yeah, awesome. Everything's great. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. How are you, guy? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I All very right, man, purposely see you later. don't call people guy or, or <laughs> pal or buddy. Or <laughs> because That's when like someone does that giveaway. to me, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very obvious If at that I point. can tell that someone doesn't remember my name, then I will put say it into name. the conversation to like... You put your own oh, name in? Oh, Sarah, you're so silly. Or, you know. To, really? Yeah, sometimes. Like third person it? Kind of. Yeah. Right. I've never ah. done that. To make that other person feel more comfortable. Sam sure does like, like cheeseburgers. <laughs> 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 no, like, I don't know. Figure out a way to Are you to sort of prompting it. them to third person themselves <laughs> back at you? Well, to make them less uncomfortable. Oh, sure. Yeah, because you can tell that they you know, don't if remember they're, they're your name. They're struggling or something. Oh, I've learned over the years. I just look at them and I say, "Look, I feel terrible about this, but I am awful with names, and I well, that's one can't recall it, it right now." Right. And they're like, 
you realize like we grew up together. I'm your brother. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. I know. But what is it again? And Alex. Like, oh yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> See, I don't know. This it's not just bad. happened to me recently. Like we had people over, and I was like. I mean, not good friends, but, you know, people... And I'm like, what is that person's name again? And you invited them to your house? Well, Amber did. Yeah, but know. even so, they, they were they were guests at your house, and you can't remember their names? That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad, you should I know, and then I was embarrassed to ask Amber. Uh, well. I was like, what, what's her husband's name again? <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like for a little chart, you know, like, or a little beacon to show up, like, when, when we get all cyborgy and... Like well, we're walking up in their name, with their the name displays. You could hold up your phone, click it. That's not embarrassing. Hold on a second. <laughs> well, I mean, put you the kinda, phone up to their face. I mean, you know, you're like making a call. You're like acting like you're doing your phone, and you're like really just kind of. I have, you know, speaking of, I'm trying to think. I have run into people in New York. People think it's such a big city. And there was oh, one time, and yeah. I ran into someone, and I, I'm like, I know him, I know him, I know him. And I actually went up to him, and I said, how do I know you? And he looked at me, too, and you could tell we were trying to figure it out. Yeah. And then he said, oh, I'm this. And did you figure it okay, out? And then, okay, oh, yeah. And then I figured out where. Yeah. So I don't mind doing that initially, but you have to do it, like, right away. Otherwise, it's just it just it, Yeah, the, the longer you wait, the more awkward it gets. And then either you look, like, stupid or... I, I think... <laughs> I, you know, it might be a, a product of sort of my own imagination, but but I, I was in a different school in second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grades, well, in 10th grade. And, and we, you know, during those times, I lived in different communities all over Minnesota and Wisconsin and whatever. Like, plus I've, I've lived in Colorado and Washington and Vegas and all these places. And I feel like, I run into people and I'm like, God, I, I know. You can recognize I know the you. face. but I, I know I know you. I just have no way of recalling whether it was I knew you when I was seven years old and right. I still recognize your face mm-hmm. or I used to live next to you in another part of the country. or what, I have no idea. But. So when we were in Ireland, I, I would be talking to people or I'd see someone and I thought I recognized them. I was like, Gosh, that person looks just like someone, right? Some Irish friend, or Some, yours, yeah. someone, yeah. But I, but they don't. You know what but I mean? But you like, know, that's another but, discussion. But, Doppelganger, right? But listen to this. <laughs> I was in the bar. <laughs> guys, in what do you guys Ireland. do during Halloween season? Like, right? do you both just go? Like, is this crazy. your favorite go, time of year? We go like, absolutely crazy because every day should be Halloween, <laughs> right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, it is. I mean. I'm, and this is not me making fun. I'm just saying you guys are so into all or, of this. I know <laughs> horror. L- and, listen to this though. So yeah. I'm in Ireland, right? I'm wearing my Cuzzy's T-shirt from Cuzzy's Bar here. Yeah, right. And this guy walks up to me, goes Cuzzy's, and I'm I'm. We, did I tell you guys about this? No. Yeah, he was like, "That's my favorite bar." I'm like, "What?" He was from Minneapolis. We're in Ireland. Well, on St. Patty's Day, well, and he's like. Did you know him or no? Just, not at all. Oh. But but it just goes to show sure. that there were people. World. There were people that were just in the same building, right? From here, right? So I'm just saying, like I might no, have no, recognized that's, that's, someone, and yeah, that's they, pretty small happen. world stuff. Yeah. yeah, but the doppelganger thing is interesting. I think they exist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everyone has one. It's like oh, you he say that made... like like it like Bigfoot or Chubacabra <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> like <laughs> like you think doppelgangers are like I don't know the technical uh, definition of a top. I like think a it's just like your twin, but not yeah. genetically. Not right. Like it's just someone that looks it's just like someone yeah. that's like a very uncanny resemblance. I think everybody has one. Well, yeah. I mean, that's just like because. Yeah, there but that's there's not enough genetic <clears throat> diversity or something Maybe. for us not to look somewhat like or very well, much Well, we're talking like about like exact. But sometimes, yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. yeah. I mean, I... But but do they share any other characteristics or is it I'm just... I'm not sure because I haven't talked to guys, I mean, but... I, I, feel like, I feel like if anyone's ever going to listen to this, and perhaps they aren't, which is totally fine, but if they were going to listen to this, we should probably... Uh, 
now let's say we've had an intro at this point, right? Oh, right. But we should maybe say hello to, and I mean, I love that we just launched right into uh, weirdness and we can get right back to it. But uh, are we, is there anything we're going to talk about today or is this just let's waste Top an hour game. a day? Let's, is this, let's waste an hour. How about that? Okay, done. Okay. Theme of today. Let's waste an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> Why not? And it does. Yeah. So anyway, back to doppelgangers. Um, the uh, I, I was really fascinated for a while with the twin studies. Do you know about like 1950s or something? They separated a bunch of twins and yeah, yeah. In I, I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they nature versus nurture. Kind yeah, of thing. Like, yeah. And then they. Uh, it, so it was like the only period of you know modern human history where they purposefully separated twins out of orphanages or something. Mm. And so these people grew up, some of them knowing they had a twin, many of them not knowing. Mm-hmm. And then they <laughs> they found them all and studied kind of what had happened in their lives. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at the most extreme end of it, obviously there were some that basically didn't necessarily live similar lives to one another or something. But there were a few of them where, you know, they... Like these two women, each of them married a guy named Steve, had mm-hmm. three mm-hmm. kids. Mm-hmm. This guy mm-hmm. named Steve was yeah. an accountant. I remember uh, looking yeah. at this. Like yeah. they did things at the same ages. Uh-huh. They they married the exact, like if you look at the, the two Steves, yep. they look like the same guy. You uh-huh. know, like uh, so much of what they did throughout their lives was similar to what their twin had done right. halfway around the planet. Or Do you one think was they were pissed when they found out? That they were separated. Uh, yeah, these oh, yeah. two ladies were awfully nice in the in the thing. I saw. I mean, so hey, it seemed like just, they got pissed very often. But yeah, I would be hurt by that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Like you're a study. Like right. your whole life has been studied. Yeah, and I don't. I don't believe that they set out to study them that way. I think that the, it was just a bad decision that was made. Mm-hmm. And then when someone, you know, when they kind of looked at it years later, they were like, "Well, it was a bad decision, but here's an opportunity to get some real." Hmm. weird data that you would never otherwise get hmm. so interesting but i'm no expert on twins <laughs> twin studies i just know it was really I, it's a very interesting the guy that i'm interview. talking to with ancestry.com like the person that oh, yeah, i connected yeah. to i mean one of his first uh sort of conversations that we had were asking you know what i do characteristics you know things like that and he's like oh you know this 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 you know our what I know of your, you know, biological family. family. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of interesting. He thinks, you know, he brought that up right away. You know, like the arts. Yeah. Like, are you an artist? Are you into architecture? Are you into music? You know, the those right. sort of things, which I am. He asked you those specific things? Uh, well, he asked me what I was into and um, then responded when I said art, you know, and of course the degree of art that I'm in, he kind of, linked it then with other people right that's crazy so yeah yeah it is isn't it yeah 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 i mean I, 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 but you have you know you're not you know some of your brothers are you know <laughs> you're not as linked as <laughs> some other things <laughs> never mind well siblings can yeah. be very very right. different they can be very different but um i think that you know they've shown more conclusively that you're DNA has a lot to do with certain aspects of your personality. Sure. Right. I think temperament Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. proclivity for certain things might be kind of ingrained. But then there's also the, there's also the study of the guy who, uh, he was a psychologist or something and he adopted two, two girls born of different families. So they're not his biological kids Mm -hmm. and they're not related to one another. Right. And he he wanted to show that nurture was more important than nature, right? So and, he Okay, right. So he trained both of them to be I, I believe it was chess champions mm-hmm. or chess players. Right. And they were the like number 1 and number 2 chess players in the world. So he by through that he was hmm. trying to prove. Yeah, showing that two two kids from not genetically yeah, you know, sure. The same situation right. could be trained to do whatever. Whatever that seems a bit controlling. Oh, it was awful. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I'm his, sure you could train 
I mean, depending on how much training <laughs> there is and what that training looks like. Oh, no, you'd have to look it up. It, he was pretty calculated and cruel about it. Yeah. Like, he, th- their life was just consisted of absolutely, I'm going to prove this. It, it was very calculated. Mm. He hmm. did it specifically to prove his hypothesis. Or something. Right. It sounds like a Halloween movie. It does. Or it could be a yeah. Halloween movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very dark. Uh-huh. Yeah. If they killed him in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Jim. Yeah. I know. Oh, Jim's sorry. been on like a, I ruined uh, Christmas again. <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> You've just had this thing going on lately. Well, how, you know well, what I love about Halloween? Like, Halloween time, like you can be you know? like, yeah. like the weather's changing, the leaves are changing. Jim's changing. Jim's changing. <laughs> what does he turn into? An... So this is a well, Halloween question. What would you go as a costume? And I know we're not kids anymore, but I always like to think of what my costume's going to be, even if I'm just by myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> even if you're by yourself. That's do you mean, like, that's do you mean like, do, do, you, do you envision yourself being alone and trick-or-treating? Do you like, <laughs> <laughs> like answering the door for kids. Yeah. Like, oh, how would I dress only up? that. Uh, sure. Because yeah. where am I going to go trick-or-treating? Like, just around, you know, you really can go obnoxious. anywhere. I know, like, but... No, I, I don't like, pass for... No. I mean, that's kind of funny because like you're six pretty foot tall. T- oh, I know. It's I like mean. a six-foot-tall like... 12-year-old. Oh, God. In a grandmother's outfit. So, <laughs> so I really like Halloween, but I don't like dressing up. Oh, so I'm not okay. a I'm not a costume person. I, I would just be a ghost with the bed sheet. Right. And just the a couple eyes. It. Yeah. Then you could go trick-or-treating. And I just, could. You know. I could. No one's going to know. Right. But that that would be the, the costume, you know. In case you needed candy that you otherwise didn't have access to, I get right. it. Right, I get right. it. Well, what would oh, you be? Boy. A witch. Oh, yeah. yeah. I suppose I, you said it you as know? if that was so obvious. Well, <laughs> of course you would you be. Could a get witch. like the long black wig. Mm-hmm. I like the idea of black hair. Yeah. Temporary. Mm-hmm. And a long black dress, and get like really. Actually, you know, I did do that one year in New York with my ex-boyfriend. I remember cabs wouldn't pick us up. Why? I don't know. Maybe I look too scary. Did, I really were had you pa- the sexy pails. witch? No, God, no. That's no. Fun. That's I wouldn't <laughs> so, think so. Heaven so forbid. No. Well, it's so just. <laughs> no, no, it's no. just so dumb. I just. I'm sure it was really <laughs> pale so skin, like I white skin, and like right. Really you did the real light. deal. Yeah, kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. All anyway, right. but. Kind of, when else are you going to be able to dress up like a witch? I know. Day to day? I, I yeah. wish I, like... You know. Well... I like, I would be some, you know, dress up, but I, I really always want it to be, like, the best. Costume. And I can't do it. I don't have the time, and I I, know, I'm not that's a costume the best maker. costume, you mean? Yeah, like, I hate, yeah. I hate the idea of going and buying a $39... Maybe oh, China. cheap piece of I mean, crap, the only... Right? Some Halloween Dressing up story. as a zombie is always kind of classic, just with the makeup and then, you paper know. T- paper. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's paper just, towels. No, okay. <laughs> to clean <laughs> up the blood. <laughs> right, right. The mummy. A mummy. Yeah. That's a good. I think you can be creative with yeah. limited resources. But yeah. again, it comes oh, down for to sure. time. I, well, I, you have kids, so you have to, like the kids, obviously. I've just the... been throwing a dress on every year. You know, because right. Maddox. Still. Maddox went as. Uh, Shrek. No, 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 um, no, he went as the Elsa. Elsa from That's Frozen, right. yeah. But didn't they do Shrek one year? Or that was different? Uh, no, I think they did Shrek last year. Yeah, he was Donkey. What are they going as this year? They want to go as the Incredibles. Right. Oh, yeah. But I, I thought we should reverse it and sort of, but it, it won't work. Like make Baby the oh. dad and uh, <laughs> Maddox make the Baby and the, the dad. Mom, me the baby. Ah. You know, reverse the order. But oh, wow. Uh-huh. You're uh, really c- going to confuse Andalyn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's it kind of a cute right. family costume, though. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the makeup of the family, right? Yeah, yeah Except it is. Maddox and Tyson are fighting over who gets to be the, the girl. Uh-huh. So at first it was who has to be the girl. And then, now who and then the fight became who gets to, to be, be the girl. The girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cute, though. Oh, that is. Yeah. That would be cute. Maddox is like, of course it's me because he's so pretty. 
you know he he well, likes he, to his hair you know his yeah halloween so he's like wait a minute i don't want to be was uh epic when i was at mcad i mean that was like the i mean everyone tried to outdo well, I'm sure. each other with costumes yeah uh-huh. yeah i remember really enjoying halloween through yeah my 20s yeah oh i loved it i i i think there's some of these things too like you guys don't have kids of your own or whatever but i i think there's some of these things that I used to enjoy that I, I still enjoy them, but I enjoy them for different reasons now because I like to see the kids go. But where there'll be a point where the kids are gone and I'll get to enjoy them for myself again. True. You know? Yeah. Sort of looking forward to that. Not that I want the kids out. I don't want Anna to grow up. Right. Oh, you mean yeah. you're, you're really looking down the line, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, Like, I, what do you mean? You'll enjoy Halloween? or Yeah. Like, we, it's, we've got young kids again you know and yeah. only two so like enjoying halloween means we have to oh yeah. make sure that she's dressed up sure. we take her wherever she yeah. needs to go like like even when they get to be in their teenage years or whatever and they kind of don't want to be around us right and we get to go hang out with some of our old friends and reconnect you know the mm-hmm. people that we used to do halloween with and right. we would have a great time we had a yep. big we always had a big halloween party at our house Mm-hmm. Had, had a great time, and then we had kids, and right, ruined it. Mm. Well, <laughs> changed it, but changed it. I'm sorry. I just yes. hand out candy now. Yeah, I do like handing out candy. Yeah, I kind of do too. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. And then I'll pause my horror movie. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. That I that's like adults only. God, right? my my dad used to just go all out. I mean, with what decorations or. Uh, no, well, yes, decorations, but um, the candy ho- too. Homemade decoration? No, not the candy. He he. W- well, this was when we lived down in Madison. He would and Telsha, Emily, and Tyler are all little. Mm-hmm. Uh, he would uh, hide things in the in leaf piles out in the yard and stuff. Like what stuff? Well, and then he had an air compressor in the house, and he had medical tubing from the hospital, and he would with all these valves and stuff, he'd turn the thing and like the, the witch would pop up out of the leaves <laughs> at the kids oh, and scare yeah, the crap he was out of them. That yeah, guy. yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and wow. he made all of it himself and he had right. this old mannequin that they dressed up. That was really Ooh. creepy. And yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He this got super in. I know it's my, my old man. He did. He did pumpkins this year, like gigantic pumpkins. Yeah. I saw, I saw the huge pumpkins. Like, gigantic. Yeah. But huh. yeah, he used to that? just really, Take it to a really level. Get like, well, into it's it. not. It's, if you know him, it's like it's a part of him, but it's not always right. there. You know, the huh. kind of fun party side is. Sorry, Dad. Halloween. Yeah. Well. I usually like to put someone hanging from the tree in the front yard. <laughs> you know, but like. <laughs> Like who? Jim? Well, like, <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a real person, but I like to make it look pretty oh. real. You know, what I mean, I like to make a, you know, make how do you, is it a mannequin? Or is it a paper yeah? It's mache? kind of mannequin, but, but you from know, where? Stuff. Well, I used to, you know, just buy like a skeleton and then dress the skeleton right. and kind of okay. like, you know, make it sure. look like it, you know, the, yeah, from like put a, a medical put a, supply skeleton yeah, and store. Then put like a. Um, <laughs> Pillowcase, pillowcase over like the a head. Real human you know, skeleton. The, yeah. Oh my god, cadaver. Okay. So at at the old house, at the old house, um, you know, one on Vincent, you know, Ellis. Yeah. Um, yep. So I redid the porch of that house, right? You know, t- you know, Jack jacked it up. Yep. Took the floor out, right? So it's just dirt. Yeah, so I put a fake skeleton like down in oh there, my God. you know, and just and put next, a for the next owner. Yes, that's exactly oh. right. Yeah, yeah, put a little dirt over it, and made it look kind of like you, you know, like you'd have right. to, you wouldn't just see it right away, but you know, you'd kind of like you'd be like, what is that? Oh my God, it's a skeleton, you know. There, and I got it from the party store, the party store, you know, it was like twenty bucks, you know. So most people would understand that it's a joke, or. No, I, I hopefully they would be scared. Like I hope that they'd be like, "Holy no, shit!" I hope they'd be we gotta call out. the cops, you know? And they'd so, get out there and they'd be so like, "What's the follow up?" Well, I don't he know. He doesn't it's, even get to know. No, it's that's just, just yeah. I'm just in the background. It's just fun. 
you yeah. know, it's fun for me to think about, <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> like, every once in a while, I just think, like, God, someday some, somebody's going to rip that farm and go, go, holy shit, there's a skeleton in here. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Well, that's, on that note. That's fun, though. <laughs> on that note, I think we should take a, uh, a brief break, and uh, we'll come back in a little bit. Definitely time for a little break in the middle here. We'll take a few minutes, and we'll be back with you shortly. Okay. We're back. Okay. So <laughs> Jim is Googling other places to store a fake skull. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. but, so this, I was just Why? thinking. <laughs> but I mean, doesn't it raise the question, like, are we sure that there's a fake skeleton on his <laughs> Listen, chance? this is going to, I was just thinking, I was just thinking in our little break about the idea of perception and people's perception of you. Right. What, how people perceive you to be, mm-hmm. where, you know, we're talking about all these people may think it's weird things, but some of my friends that have known me for a long time may not understand or know that I have this kind of dark side to me where I enjoy talking about Halloween, <laughs> Halloween costumes and Bigfoot and aliens and all of those kind of weird mm-hmm. cryptids. Sorry to cut everyone off there. I had a... Super important phone yeah, call I had to take. Sam. I lost yeah. my train yeah. of Well worth it, though. <laughs> that was good. I totally uh, ruined so you were everything. talking about The idea perception of perception. And, oh, yes, yes. And so people can look. We all form opinions about people within the first, I think this is a scientifically proven fact, within the first few seconds, right? The human brain. Yep. So some can be a little bit more astute than others, but we tend to categorize people based on how they look, how they present themselves into some type of box. So I know it's not a struggle, but I know some people may perceive me as a certain way, but there's this other layer of like we're talking about, I enjoy talking about kind of this, not weird, but things beyond kind of normal (laughs) every day. Who says it isn't weird? Or who says Everyone it says it's, it's weird. weird. I don't think it's weird. Uh, Other people think it's weird. I was weird. teasing you a little bit there. Because I know. You... <laughs> I know, but I think when I start to talk about it, some people look at me and they just don't expect to Everybody's into say... weird stuff. It's just not the same weird stuff True. everyone else is into. True. Yeah. True. But it's just perception. And so but we're... some people are not into anything weird. Right. There, There's like a lack of maybe curiosity, but I think this ties back to... So we're trying to build this app for your memories, right? Right. But you're pu- you're going to put in things the way that you want to perceive yourself. That's the whole and point. That's yep. the whole point, right? So you're almost shaping, crafting that narrative, and then that also leads to the second thing of you when you, if you want to share it with whoever, you're also putting that certain version of yourself out there to share with people. So just this idea of perception. Mm-hmm. You're yeah. sharing what's important. You're sharing what, what's important what, to you. Hopefully, that's yeah. the idea. And well, maybe, you're cura- I mean, yeah. It whether it's important or not, you're curating your own the sure. image you you see right. of you. You know, which is different than what other people see. True. And so, ultimately, like I mean, people. I don't think people are disingenuous about who they are or whatever, but I do think people can see can see a different version of themselves than most anyone else can see. True. Sort of go mm-hmm. through life thinking I, I'm this way and people perceive me this way when in reality people are like, no, I don't, so I like, don't really I, see you that way. I see you like this. You mm-hmm. know? Right. And so. on Facebook, it's all good times. Oh, I mean, that's you know like, I mean? The like that's ultimate that's sort of the yeah, show I mean, off. Everybody's like, look how happy I am. Look at look my, what I'm doing. Look at look my, where I'm it's going. so anxiety great meal. producing. <laughs> I mean, isn't it though? I it mean, is. That's it, like, why I'm rarely on it. I just don't. It's a lot. Yeah, I don't personally put out things like I don't think to myself. I'm crafting a an image of myself that I'd like other people to. But some people see. really some people use do. that. As and that's, a lot of people that's do. That's the I danger. Yeah. Yeah. I think it comes, you know, like with your kids. We were talking about your kids before. My friends that have kids, I really enjoy seeing that interaction, seeing them grow up. I think that's all positive. 
You mean things. through Facebook? Yeah, through yeah. Facebook, because I think that's the medium to share a lot of that stuff, because yep. it's of the moment, and it's fun things like, you know, my daughter got braces, or first day of kindergarten, and I, yep. that's... That's very Sam. Geez. I put it on silent. No, well, is that is that worthy? No, no, okay. no it's, it's not well, important. No. Sam's no. phone's always ringing, so yeah. it's chips. <laughs> so I think Facebook serves its purpose for that, but it and you can craft this kind of maybe not true to life narrative, mm. but again, it's very of the moment. Mm-hmm. The it's Facebook, Facebook right? Yeah. You're not right telling a story no, so uh-uh. much because. They're controlling what your friends see. They're controlling the algorithm. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Facebook's controlling the algorithm? Yes. And, and I think at this point, it's sort of hard to know if they even are anymore. There's so many layers upon layers. Yeah, of, I mean, I, I mean you know. by all accounts, no one in the world has any real... Like there's, it's too Control big. Control over it. It's become too big, right? Yeah, it's too big that not any single person could know the entire algorithm, or the code behind mm-hmm. how it works mm-hmm. exactly. I they always can get tweak the it. same things popping up. The same people. I'm amazed, you know, on my Facebook that because it, it, you know, whatever. It, it's, it, but I mean, it's not even. I don't necessarily want to see that. Like, I want to be surprised sometimes by things, right? Which sometimes I am, but. Mainly not. I think it's gotten. I think it's gotten boring, in a lot of ways. Like I, I you know, it is. Kind I, of, I don't want to see any more memes, and I don't want to see any more. I, I really don't like people reposting what everyone else. Someone creates true. content, and then right. they put it out there, right? And repost it. I would just if 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 it well, could just be. You mean the sharing of it or? No, like Facebook. I mean, I like Facebook for what it's for. Like, or, you know, what I like it for, which is sharing photos and videos of my kids and kind of the story Mm -hmm. of my life and a few of my thoughts every now and again. Like, this is what I'm thinking about this political situation. Mm. Right. I don't, I don't put anything on there that specifically attacks Republicans or Democrats or a group of people. I always say, this is what's going on and this is my opinion on it, Uh right? And I get frustrated with people who the only thing I ever see is them like a caption above a meme that says, right on, or yeah, this is how I feel too. And it's like, you know, the Republicans suck because of this or all Democrats think this way or... You know, sure. it's just like, I, I, I yeah. don't know who makes all that content, all those, well, all those memes and stuff. Hmm. Like, it's like we're losing our, the ability. It's not fostering, no, it's not it, helping the ability to, right. to articulate your own thoughts or and put to it have out there. Or to have some type sure. of discussion or sure. get the Yeah, the discussion never happens. Well, it's the wrong platform way. Right. for it. See, and I, and I would say, isn't that funny that a social media platform is the wrong platform for being social? About media well, or whatever, evolved, like right. It's right. evolved, it's evolved to, that to suck. Space, it has, but maybe yeah. that's a reflection of us. Well, sure it is, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we're the ones, you know. We kind of suck. I get it. You know. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's a whole can of worms, but yeah, it is. It is. I mean, I. Yeah. I don't post any of that. I don't usually, but no, I never. like your posts. So, I mean, you've well, got some pretty good. They're, you know, about your happiness cop. and ki- well, like your kids stuff. I mean, but I, I, I see what you're getting at. That's though. funny because I mean, that's just a reflection of the way I think. Like, right. I don't put a lot of thought into what I post. Right. I just post if like, like I'm not I'm not trying to sway a bunch of people's political opinion when I put a political thing out there. Mm-hmm. I'm wrestling with an idea and I'm looking for people. Like, oftentimes mm-hmm. it's like, hey, I'm seeing that this is happening. What are other people's thoughts? I'd like right. to but know. But do you think Facebook is the best medium for that? What kind other of medium stuff? is there? Talking. Yeah, but and and believe me, people will tell you. I I talk their oh, ear off about it. I know. That, I just yeah. I that's what I'm really struggling with is the whole how it's turned into more of a political and you're trying to make a statement for something. I just don't think it's the medium to do it. No, I, any case, I think it could be. I think it, it I keep be, trying maybe, to remind people that I'm right. not attacking you. Don't, you just don't want attack to me. I'm just, looking, right. I'm just looking to see what people's thoughts are. Okay. And I actually will assimilate some people's 
other people's right. ideas if mm-hmm. I need to. But it often devolves into crap right away, no doubt. Right. I always think uh, this kind of correlates, but when I'm, you know, I'm not a big driver. I hate driving. And I hadn't driven for like 10 years in New York and I'm here. So I'm, f- I'm driving, right? And I get really angry if someone cuts me off or if they're not a big right. rules. I can't picture you angry. I do. It just like kind of comes like, out. What, what does that look like? I don't You're know. Just like, it looks like regular road rage. Like, yeah. Like, She's not alone kind of, in that. It just, yeah, we all have that. Do you flip I don't. anyone off? Do you ever flip no, anyone off? No, but maybe I'll swear and I don't swear often. But you swear like yeah, in the car. Uh, sure. Like, so, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Jim, thanks for the swear word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Sorry. Oh, now oh, now yeah, we're, we're, right. we're going to... No, you're totally fine. That's what podcasts oh, are all about. Oh, yeah. That's right. I can't believe that. Yeah. I'm totally. just so, trying to envision you like... Everyone's yeah. being all sweet. Uh, well, so no. So I say it, but then I always think like, that could have been my dad for all I know. Or that could Who have been... Who cut you off? Well, do you know what I mean? I, I know. And then you're like, dad, quit being a dick. No. <laughs> I try and put it into context like it's so easy and I think you look at sites like you know reddit is kind of notorious for this or youtube comments people can be super nasty because there's an anonymity in it right yeah facebook you have to it's more like you yeah you, you can't yeah. it is right. or whatever yeah. Yeah. but it's so easy to devolve into this nastiness online where would you ever say that to someone in person Sometimes people would. Well, but when you're face to face, I think people that no are context. nasty there's online no are also nasty in real life. Could be. I think I think people who are nasty kind of. online have nasty thoughts in real life, but aren't necessarily going to tell you those right. nasty thoughts. Oh, that comes down to the mm. perception thing because they don't want to be perceived as this or that. But if you're an anonymous person, if you ever yeah. want to spend some wasting some time, go on YouTube and pull up whatever if I want to learn about quantum mechanics or something you pull it up and then there's some people that get on there and they oh, like, right. well, science is right you know it's yeah I know what it you just mean. gives you that kind of outlet to say stupid stuff yeah I know what you mean that yeah. again it's not the forum for it but mm-hmm. well that's just people that yeah, don't have a voice so trolling. you know what I mean they just don't trolling. have a voice yeah. ever yeah in real life yeah I I mean, could be, yeah. Well, a lot of people don't aren't. I think heard. there's multiple classes of people that do this sort sure. of stuff, right? There are the the people who, you know, don't have a voice, don't say anything to anyone, and then they get online and it emboldens them to do whatever. And then there are people who are just sort of your like coworkers, your regular people you know every day. They're nice right. as pie to you when they're in your face, but then they get online and they turn into dicks, you know. And it, I. I think they do that. I don't think they do it as an escape or anything. I think they do it because it's a place where they can just sure. pour their thoughts. Yeah. Sure. You know? sure. And sometimes those thoughts aren't all that nice. And if you didn't, if you knew them outside of work, you might also get that. But like it, if you were, you'd have a greater one on one interaction to really delve into. Right. If you were sitting having a beer with them at a bar, the, right. the same stuff might come sure. out. But after, it after a few beers. After a few beers. But wow. it doesn't come yeah. out at work because they just sort of, it's like going to grandma's house. Sure. Right. I knew not to it. swear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. I don't know. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so uh, what, what else have we got? What's What's new? What's fresh? Well, what's, what's fresh? fresh? What's well, fresh? we were so. <laughs> what is fresh? We were, you know, not like we're working on a million different things, but again, we were trying to chat how we, the three of us, kind of get this message out not only with Andalyn but everything else that we're doing into kind of one cohesive thing, so people don't look at us like we have three heads, or they don't understand. We do have three heads. We do. One, two, three. You're right. Yeah. Jim's right. <laughs> But how on earth are you doing all this? Or why don't you tell me what you do best, right? I think right. It, I mean, you do a lot of stuff, but what do you do well? Yeah, right. I, right? I mean, I've gotten that all my life. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. don't you think you have too many irons in the fire? And I'm like, well, you just, just build Kinda. a little bit bigger fire then, don't you? I mean, you just got to right. have room to accommodate the, right. the irons. Yeah. But, and, you know, and I'm not, in most cases, like with your pack simply and stuff and earth ed and art even you know like i don't need each one of them to be on rocket fuel like i don't need right. them all to be traveling mm-hmm. at a million miles an hour I, right. some of them i'm just like no no i've just 
put that out there to drift for a little while, but I've I've got a line tied to it. Yeah. 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 I'll I'll pull it back in and look at it here a little later, but it's just doing what it's doing. You know? But that's the way I see it. But I think with the the multiple things, I think what people are struggling with a bit, and I, I get it, is uh how Andalin and the institutional version and the Alzheimer's version and the the cop version, yeah, the police version. <laughs> like how why all of those? Like what are, what are we doing? And it's it's like if you're not if you don't take the time to get really deeply into exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it, you might not recognize that it's They're the all same connected. platform. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's the same mechanisms by which you re, you know mm-hmm. you record data about a person, a place, a thing, or mm-hmm. an event in the mm-hmm. same way, mm-hmm. right? And it's not simply just a different skin on each one of them, but it's it's like the you know, and this is I described this to Matt the other day, but like if if I'm headed to Detroit and Washington D.C. and New York, I got to go through Chicago. To get there and like so i might as well andalin is making one version of it right mm-hmm. but if i'm going to go to the other version like if my ultimate destination is new york there's a bunch <laughs> of cities along the way that we're going to get to anyway and that's right. with the business if our ultimate destination is andalin an, well or an institutional version sure right once we on the way to the institutional version which we all know is a nice viable kind of like here's mm-hmm. a product we're going to mm-hmm. sell it to you to get there you got to produce andalin first sure because that's the core structure sure and then on the this, way you might as well along, stop off and yeah along say, the way there's a few other places that right. are really close to your destination anyway and you might as right. well just get the benefit of going there and that's the businesses the other that's ones the business of business this is the business of business. Yeah, <laughs> like that, that, that does sound. Who like was a the book. one that wanted to write a book about how to do a startup before we'd even started? That yeah. was you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How to <laughs> do like a, like a <laughs> choose your own adventure, fail yeah. or succeed. Yes, I still like that idea. <laughs> no, I think it's a cute idea. It's just another I mean, thing to pile on. The- I well, I you know I was hoping to get a little advice from Charlie on it because right because I'm talking like. Yeah. Like one of those 60 page choose your own adventure mm-hmm. where the pages are like the like coloring like, book like old, right. you know, that heavy material. Mm-hmm. So not not something that's overly complex but just sort of like a, a light read. A, well, and, and a cute little like all right, yeah. so Start you want to do this a little cartoony and then yep. You know, it's, yeah, it start here. And if, if you decide to do this, go to page 48. Could, you know? be, could there be like roadblocks where it's like bad choices go back a step? Uh, do I don't know. <laughs> well, then, <laughs> then it's a know, board game. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, yeah. that would be fun too. Right? Oh my God. Would it? Or would right? it be terribly boring? Bad like choice. The, <laughs> like anxiety. The, it would be anxiety, wouldn't the it? Startup, well, the startup board game. Or right. you could start do squares game, yeah. that are like silent like alarms that you put your piece on and it'd be like buzzy or something. God, we should look that up. I bet there's God, already like a tech startup board game. I don't know. Yeah. Not as fun as ours. This is a good, well, let's, this is a very good example of down. how our days are spent. You <sighs> Don't know, say that. Like, everyone will think we're just. I know uh, they're going to think we're crazy. I mean, well, here we are, and, oh, and board game. And now now you bust and... out the pen and paper. You're like, okay, <laughs> let's get going. <laughs> you know, I don't even tomorrow the name when of you're our gone, <laughs> he's going to come in with like, okay, so I think um, you know the size of the game should be. <laughs> Whatever. Have something made in a oh, shop. I have a prototype. <laughs> you have a prototype with an electric buzzer. <laughs> uh huh. Shocks you. Yes. Oh Head man. Choice. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. that operation game. I yeah. know. Like that's to- how much fun was that? That was a lot of fun. That's a that good. Game. Right. Well, I got it on the. I got it on the old list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tech startup board game. <laughs> how but, much voltage uh, before uh, you actually? Well, no one, one plays board games though. It has. To oh, be. they do they too. Do. But they do. They do. I'm telling you. But it's like uh, Trivia Pursuit or um, Scrabble. Well, and yeah. and they Puzzles. keep I keep seeing these things where they're praising the millennials, right? Uh-huh. The millennials are bringing back everything, everything good, like they're like Battleship. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything good in games, maybe. Yeah, uh, but like 
all the simple stuff. They're growing gardens. Sure. They're playing. They're they're getting community groups together to do things. They're not getting divorced anymore. Like they're making their own foods. They're making their own clothes. Wow. And they're sitting around playing board games by candlelight. Not really. Sounds they like made a that up. TV show like a series. Ah oh, shit. That's you know? the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Like the millennial series? Yeah. It's all like, I guess. You know, leave it to Beaver. Would you watch it? Well, I wouldn't watch it. No. I'm, I only watch horror movies. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch TV. So, mm. very well, I mean, I do. I watch uh, HBO series and Showtime series, but just late at night. Well, that's sure. what I do too. Yeah. So. It'd don't have to be a series. Be so I mean, isn't it? Say you don't watch TV. No, no, I do watch TV. I don't watch network television. I know, oh, I hear. I, you. I haven't cable. Like, who has cable? Do you have? Cable? I don't have cable. No, no. I don't watch uh-uh. commercials anymore. No, so no, no. Although we no. want to get cable, do you? We don't have any. We don't have anything. Well, cable we have Sling for what? TV. Right. Roku Which is or whatever, don't you? cable. What's that? It is cable. It's yeah, it just. But what really... channels do you really want to make you pay for cable? The History Channel. Well. Ancient aliens. Yeah, yeah that's it. that's what I. Yeah, been but on. you can get that on you can Roku get, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, well, I think at our house it's the sports. Oh, of course, you know? right? With the kids. So, and, yeah. Yeah. The dudes. Right. Yeah, and we're so, you know, we've got that antenna. So Sunday sports really suck because you know every time a guy throws a ball, it glitches on the sure. TV, <laughs> and everyone goes, "This sucks." Maybe you're in the Matrix. Yeah. Well, maybe it's aliens. <laughs> God, you do. <laughs> it's not. It's our shitty TV. <laughs> it's not. Well, I have other evidence to point to the matrix. Oh, oh no. Yes. Oh no. That could be a whole other. Yeah, I don't. I don't mm-hmm. know that I'd get into a millennial TV show. I mean, isn't that? Uh, well, I don't even know what they are. Silicon oh, Valley. Oh, I see what you're saying? Isn't yeah. That, is it? Well. That's one bent, but I just think it'd be kind of like, rah, rah. I, I get it. I support mm-hmm. a lot of that, what they're trying to do. What's uh, Silicon well, Valley? That no, show, the, oh. um, you're talking about what the millennial generation is. Oh, doing. sure, sure. You know. They're bringing back all the craft stuff. Yeah, they're I paying mean, for have, good cocktails. They're yeah. <laughs> buying some fancy axes and stuff. <laughs> Oh my they might God. buy wooden boxes. You right. Know? They might. Yeah. Or the steel yeah. shovel. The Monagans. Or the shovel. <laughs> he's so right into this. The list, right? Oh, he's, yeah. Well, that's. He's super serious about making some, like, uh, just heavy slab of metal at the end yeah. of a wooden pole that's yeah. like. It's a classic a shovel. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. the kind of shovel that's handed down from generation <laughs> to generation. What would you call it? A real shovel. fucking shovel. Yeah, just shovel. shovel. Yeah, shovel, shovel it. Don't shovel be a, it. Don't be a, <laughs> don't be a ninny. It. Here's a shovel. Right. Get going. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yes. This is gonna hurt. Mm-hmm. I mean, instead of all those weird that's handled real exercise. plastic shovels oh my God, that I hate just those break, things. or the plastic with the little metal uh, tip, you know, yep. for mm. chopping the ice, and then <laughs> yep. the whole thing just <laughs> breaks. And I'm like, well, that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's true. I yeah, mean, you know, what you're talking about is true. Every every year, there's the only exception is that that big one that's like polyethylene or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's you but know what I'm still, talking about. Yeah, like I that. know what you're talking. But about. I don't like using those. They don't. No, they you don't can't. work for me. My sidewalk isn't smooth enough. I'm always running right. into the next crooked yep. piece of, you know, piece of. I'm concrete. talking a real shovel. Who's yeah, a man's shovel. Where when I run into the concrete, I just shave off the top of the concrete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this shovel is so well, clunk. Well, we're going to make it. All right. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, like, yeah. like Elon Musk is, you know, making Hyperloop and boring through Artificial the earth. And he's, yeah, and going he's, to Mars. And he's going to Mars and sending things up to the moon and stuff. And we're going to be like, we're making shovels. Made a shovel. And a box. And a box. I made Wanagan. a wood box. <laughs> made you, you, hey, you sold your first wood box, too. You did, your Wanigan. I did. Yeah, I sold a Wanigan. Yeah. Yep. That's, so you know, congratulations. It is a good day. It is a good day. They're, uh, 
the goal. <laughs> They're going like, well, I, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. I've sold ten percent of my, yeah. my <laughs> inventory well, they already. They do take quite a bit of time to make, so they're custom, yeah. handmade. They custom. I mean, the oh, millennials—that's yeah. your—that's right up the millennials' alley. Yep. Wow, they're gorgeous. And you yeah. can find them at <laughs> EarthEdFound.org. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they are. They are really nice. I don't. Uh, you know, someday I'll have a giant factory with. The just pollutants coming out the top of oh, it. It says on. Earth Ed found at the top. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Just producing wooden boxes. They're just coming out the back like crazy. You put a cow in the front, a wood box comes out the back. <laughs> now <Okay>. that's twisted. <laughs> that's weird. No one knows how we do it. Right. It just they just come out the back. <laughs> comes packed with hamburgers. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> packed with hamburgers. Yeah. Yeah. A wooden box just packed with hamburgers. Yeah. I... Yeah. Earth Ed found, you know. Okay. That's what we're into. Hey, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I did have one of my friends saw the saw the Earth Ed post and uh, the Wanigans and he texted me right away and he, and he said, let me know what I can do to help. Hmm. You know, like... I really, I really love what you're doing. Let me know what I can do to help. And I'm like, God, I have never known in my life how to respond to someone offering me help. You say thank you. Well, no, of course. Spread I, the word. No, Spread yeah. the word. Of course I said thank you. And I said, hey, you know, right. just, just, yeah, Such a nice just being gesture. a part. But I mean, FYI, like, he meant, I'm also like, let me know if there's anything I can do. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm always like, it, it makes me freeze up. I'm like, oh, well, I kind of yeah. have to do it all myself, don't I? It's well, just sort of. We're my... used to doing everything ourselves. Yeah, yeah. It's just the way. I mean, it's like I seriously couldn't. If in a work setting like this, when I know we're working, I can ask you guys to take on mm -hmm. some responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, you mean like whatever. Sarah? Yeah, like like <laughs> mostly we can just ask Sarah to do everything. Right. It's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> no, but when someone just unsolicited, sort of says hey i would like to pitch in and give Offers, you a hand i'm like right. oh shit i don't even yeah. know where to start like i wouldn't know what to ask you to do hmm. so i had to think about it i told right. him i told him give me a little time and I'll let me think about that you. yeah i'll give you a list yeah or a small Whatever. list yeah something yeah. first volunteer yeah earth ed yep who knows who knows well okay well. Have, we, have we run out of stuff no, kind of. but kind of, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, we're. I ran out of copy. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My tea's wearing off. So, um, we are 50 some minutes into it. So, I, and I haven't interrupted with phone calls lately. So, I think we're good. It's probably a good time to. I think we're good. Yeah. Say good night. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or, or good day. Depends good on when day. you're listening to it. <laughs> I like yeah. saying good night. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good day, good sir. Yeah. Whatever. Good yeah. day, sir. Yeah. That's it. It's okay. over. All okay. Right. Bye. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. We love comments and feedback, so go ahead and let us have it. If you'd like to learn more about Andalin and other legacy projects, visit the website at andalin.app or kineticlegacy.us. Take care.